I can move out of the sphere and it is very, very Hi everyone, let's start our AR Flutter project right now. First, we will go on Android Studio and we'll create a brand new project. I will call this one Flutter App AR and that's it. So I will just say finish. And while it is loading, what I want to say is a big, big shout out to this video and this person uh, personal, uh, especially because this video is inspired uh, mainly by this video. Thank you so much. And next thing we need to do is inside pub.dev, we need to have this plugin. And you can go inside the section install. So it is the ARKit plugin. And you will copy this ARKit plugin because we will need it inside our Flutter project. First, we will go inside pubspec.yalm. Inside this one, right under the SDK of Flutter, we will add this ARKit plugin. I will say pub get right there after. Here we go. Okay, after that, what we will need to do is we will go back inside this AR plugin and we need to go inside the readme page. Inside this one, we'll scroll down and we need to copy those two lines. So I will copy this one. I will go back inside my code and I will have iOS and then runner and then info.plist. Uh, we will go at the end of this file and we will paste this two line. I will erase this part just to be sure that this is aligned. Also, if you think this kind of video is too fast, uh, you can just tell me inside the comment and I will try to slow down in the future video. But I really like to have like fast paced video. It's like how I like to see video. Next one, we need to copy this one. I will copy this and we will need to paste it right under the other one. Here we go. Make sure to align everything once again. And now we have installed everything for the AR plugin. Next thing that we need to do is go inside the main. Inside the main, what we will do is first, I will remove the team data with the primary swatch color inside. I will scroll down until I find the uh, my home page state section. I will delete the increment counter and the counter. I will also scroll down and I will delete the center of the body, as you can see. And I will delete also the floating action button. So I will take everything and I will delete that. Here we go. Let's start with the AR code. First, you will say AR, um, AR kit, and it is the error kit scene view, just like that. I will open the bracket and inside this one, what you will need to do is, oh, as you can see, I forget to delete the center. So I will just remove this part. Here we go. Now it's better. Okay, so we have our body. Inside the body, we have the error kit scene view. Inside this one, we'll have the R on error kit view created. We will open the bracket, we will say, controller right there. We will put the arrow and we will uh, arrow the void and the void we will call it AR view. Just like that. Perfect. And inside the AR view, we will send the controller. Easy. Next step is uh, at the end of your code, you will create your void. So the void AR view. And inside this void AR view, we have the AR uh, controller, so error kit controller, and we can say again, controller. Here we go. I will open the bracket and inside this, we will need to say final and we will say node AR is equal to AR uh, kit node, just like that. Inside this one, we will say, we will have two things, the geometry and the position. The geometry is for the shape of the thing right now we will use a sphere so we will say ar kit sphere here we go i will open the parenthesis and inside this one we have uh, two things the materials and the radius so we will use the material i will put my semicolon at the end here we go and i will put this right there i think 
Uh, no, sorry. Okay, material, uh, we need to put something inside. And a material is a list of AR material. So we will need to add our list. And we'll say AR kit material. Here we go. We have it. I will put the comma right there and I will format document. Good. Let's move this a little bit like that. Inside the AR kit material, I will uh, have the diffuse and the double sided. That those are two things that we will use. Right now, we will start with the diffuse. So the diffuse, uh, we have the error kit material diffuse. Diffuse take a error kit material property. So we'll say error kit material property. Inside this one, we have the image that we want. That's perfect. Now we need to go get an image from the internet. So we have uh, right there a Nitali image. I will just uh, save image as, like that. I will call this one image. I will say save and I save it straight inside my desktop, right there. Perfect. Now what I will need to do is I will close the iOS folder and I will create right here inside the Flutter app AR. I will create a new directory called image. So this will be all the image and we need to put the image inside this one. So here we go. I take the image and I put it inside the image folder. And then I say refactor because I want the image to be inside. Next, we need to go inside our propspec.yalm and inside this one, we need to add the asset of the image. So just like that, you double delete just to be sure that everything is aligned like this code. And now you just move one to the right and you delete two time. And then I will call this one image because this is the name of my image. And it is a dot G, a G P E G J. Perfect. I will just go check. Everything is good. Now I will say pub get. After I will go back inside my library, I have my main right there. And inside my main, we can add the image that is image slash image dot G P E G like this. Okay. Next step, I will format document. I will put the comma right here and reformat again. Okay. We have the diffuse. Next one that we want is the double sided. You remember at the beginning of this video, we had our sphere and we were able to go inside the sphere to see all the Italy. Okay. And to be able to see inside the sphere, you need this argument and we need to say through. And in this case, now we will see inside the sphere. Okay. After the AR kit uh, material, we have add the material. And now what we need is I think the radius. Yep. So the radius will be only one for now. You can change the size of the sphere as you want. Next thing is after the uh, geometry, we will add also the position. The position will only be a vector three. Oops vector three and it will be position zero 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 so it will be on the position right now sorry i have misspelled vector vector has not been imported and we need to import it so we will say import and we'll say math and it is the vector math vector math 64. here we go that's perfect i scroll down and now i can see that it, it is a comma and vector Vector three. So I will rewrite it. I think I make a mistake. Vector three. Is it perfect? Yeah, it worked now. That's good. So I will click on get dependencies because apparently something has changed inside the pop spec. Yeah. Good. So I think we have pretty much everything right now. One last thing that we need to do is uh, after the final, we need to say uh, controller dot add and we will add the node AR. So this right there. Okay. And I will put my semicolon. I will format document one last time. And now we are ready to launch the application. That's good. So what I will do is I will go and record my screen. So we will go inside uh, this website. And as you can see, we need to run uh, flutter with no null safety uh, because 
the uh, AR plugin is not available with uh, null safety right now. So we will need to run it without. Uh, right now I am with the version, if we can go inside terminal, you will see that I have, if I do Flutter Doctor, I have the version 2.2 the of Flutter. So it is the most recent right now. And uh, let me open my phone, that's good. Uh, yeah, you can see it's 2.2. So how to run Flutter without null safety, because null safety is on default right now. You will just say Flutter run, and it will be no sound, I think, no sound, null safety, like this. And you will say enter. I think it will work. I will just go verify. Right there it is, no sound, no safety. Yeah, perfect. And we will face a problem right now, okay? The problem is the iOS with version 9.0. So apparently it is too old. So we will need to go inside uh, Xcode. Inside iOS folder, you will right click, you will click on Flutter and you will open iOS module in Xcode. Here we go. Now you will click on runner on the top and you will change iOS 9 by, by example, iOS, uh, I don't know, 12.1. It should work. Now you can close Xcode and we will rerun everything and it should work right now. I will rerun Flutter Run No Null Safety. I will click on Enter. And right now it is just a matter of time. So here we go. So right now I am recording my screen and you will see Flutter that will launch. Just like that. Here we go. So you just say OK, and then you say OK once again. And as you can see, you should see both at the same time. So I will remove my headphone. And as you can see, we can move and we are inside the sphere, which is very cool. OK, but right now, if you, if you want to disconnect your phone, because maybe you want to disconnect your phone and just uh, move around with, with this, you will go inside your terminal and you will say D for detach. Now you can unplug and if you unplug, here you go, you still have the application. Just make sure to not close the application because as soon as you close it, you will not be able to reopen it. You will need to rerun uh, Flutter Run and then uh, no null safety. So as you can see, right now I can just move and I can move out of the sphere and it is very, very, very cool. As you can see, we have a big sphere and we can go inside and see all the Italy. Yeah, it is very cool. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you have questions or anything, if you want us to do more about AR, just comment in the section. It will be a pleasure to do it because it's pretty fun. Uh, that's it. Uh, also, if we reach 100k before the end of this year, I promise that I will run the entire America. And it, it is not a joke. Uh, most person think it is a joke. It is not a joke. It will take four months, but I will do it. So thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Peace. How do I close that?